So California just recently passed a law requiring that all people who are working in like fast food places, uh, some, you know, smaller restaurants like that, now have to be paid at least $20 an hour. Now this has been discussed not only in, the, in, a, in a lot of places in America, but in Canada as well. And when I was younger, when I was much more liberal, I used to agree with something like that. But then when you think about the consequences of that, you realize it doesn't work. And I'm going to sh show you a video pretty much explaining why. So let's have a look and then we'll talk about it after like usual. The closure comes the same day California's minimum wage for fast food workers rises to $20 an hour. Business owners have to pass those cost increase on to the consumer. Economic experts have been predicting closures and layoffs in the months leading up to the hike. I was like, okay, uh -huh. April Fool's. April, not April Fool's. I realized that she was not joking. I drove straight over here and got my last check. Got a phone call from her general manager informing her the location would not open for business again. It's hard to take it when there was no notice at all. Jarring. It's like... Okay, you can go home, and then it's like, I thought I was going to work today. Foster's freeze. The assistant general manager tells us. It actually talked to us like we were preparing to pay $20 an hour. It wasn't a possibility of us closing. He had said, like, all right, on the schedules, we're going to run smaller crews. We're going to do a little bit shorter shifts. People are going to get the hours cut a little bit, but we'll be able to make it work. We're going to raise some prices, but, like, we're good. That all changed Monday morning. He just couldn't afford to pay the new minimum wage. <sighs> Yeah, and then they, this is a channel from, it's called Clown Planet, which actually makes a lot of funny videos, but they do show, you know, real footage of these things happening. And, you know, the one thing about that $20 minimum wage is a lot of people will think, well, that, that'll take some of that money back from us. So those corporations will get some of the money back. That doesn't help or that doesn't hurt corporations. They don't care. They can pay that all day, all day long and they'll just raise the prices. Where it hurts is small businesses or franchisees who can't afford to pay that extra, you know, four or five dollars. I don't know what minimum wage is in California, but raising it up all the way to 20 when franchisees and small businesses can't afford it, they're either going to reduce your hours, they're going to close down, which is obviously bad for the economy, or they may just try to pass the, the price along to the consumer. But the amount of the, the amount that they're going to have to raise the price to in order to compete with places like, you know, Walgreens or Walmart here in Canada, you have to raise the prices even more, making it cheaper to actually go to Walmart. Big companies get bigger tax write offs. So if, for example, so if, if Walmart had to pay twenty bucks an hour per employee, okay, here you go. All my my uh, the people who are you know trying to compete with me, all all of my competitors. A lot of them are now out of business, so my competition has been eliminated. I get more people coming into my store, and we're raising the prices anyway. It doesn't hurt them. It only hurts small businesses, which hurt which hurts the economy. We need small businesses. It can't just be big corporations owning everything. But it seems like every time, especially people who have like more left wing ideologies, they they just have this simple idea in their head. And then they shout it out there thinking, oh, we'll just pay us more. That'll fix everything. Well, no, because now it, like, the, that pair of jeans that cost $15 is now going to cost $20. You can give people more money, but if everything continues to just go up in prices, you haven't actually made any more money. You know, you know what I mean? So it, it's, I do think that, you know, wages have been stagnant for a while and they shouldn't be. I also think a lot of it's, uh, that's our fault for not negotiating our wages. Or allowing companies to essentially convince us that unions are bad. I remember they do, they used to do that all the time when I was you know, 18, 19, 20, when I first started working full time. You know, every boss I had was, oh, unions, you don't want unions. Oh, who needs unions? Oh, they're, they're stealing your money with these union dues. They also made sure that we made more money and they negotiated it for us. But when you have a law that's passed by an entire province or state or country, everything just shoots up like that for everyone. It only hurts small businesses. One company or one person negotiating their wage so they get a slight increase every year, that's what you should do. But taking minimum wage to $14, $15 an hour, wherever it is, and just shooting it up to 20 it's just not a good idea. It, it doesn't work out the way people want it to. So what you have to do is when you have an idea, think about, okay, let's say we raise minimum wage to $20 an hour. What happens? 
then you think about what actually happens. Listen to people like someone like Patrick Beck David, who changed, he's the one who changed my mind on that. And then they'll, they'll break it down and explain it. They'll explain it for you and how it doesn't hurt big business. It only hurts small business. So we, before we start thinking about you know, what we want to do and the, the cha- having the changes that we need to make or the changes that we want to have made, you really have to not just push out an idea, but also think about that idea and what could be the consequences of that idea. And raising the minimum wage like that, it's there's just nothing but consequences. And if, there's there's no positives that come out of it other than the fact that if you're young and liberal, you think, oh, I got my way. Yeah, and then you're out of a job. So it doesn't really work. So anyway, that's going to be it for this uh, video, guys. I'm going to be posting another video probably tomorrow, if not the day after, for sure. Thanks again so much for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.